Hi, I'm Mark Groves, co-inventor of the patent-pending Buckingham Ox Block. With the Ox Block, you can raise loads, lower loads, and snub off loads utilizing the integrated friction bar. You should inspect the ox each day before use. Let's start at the swivel. We want to look at the swivel to make sure there's no abnormal shape or wear. Give it a spin to make sure it operates smoothly. Next, let's start at the faceplate. We want to open and close it to make sure that it operates easily. We want to make sure that the button is fully extended. When the faceplate is locked in place and the button fully extended, it actually is part of the strength of the block itself. Okay, let's go to the shiv. Let's give it a spin, make sure it operates smoothly and nothing's binding up. We also want to look for any gouges or sharp edges that could damage the rope as it, as it works over the shiv. Now we're going to go to the friction bar. The friction bar is the same thing. We're looking for abnormal shape or excessive wear on here or any sharp edges or gouges that could damage the rope when you're using a friction bar. All right, we want to check the gate to make sure that there's a positive click sound. Yep, that sounds really good. Now, if the ox is dirty or muddy, you can take some fresh, clean water and wash it down. You don't have to worry about the bearings on the shiv because they're completely sealed from contamination. One unique thing about the ox is there are some weep holes right here, and what those are designed to do is that's, that's for the dirt and sand and stuff that could, could possibly get in there to flow out. So we want to make sure that those are clean and that there's no dirt or anything in there. So other than occasional cleaning, the ox requires very little maintenance. The ox should only be used with synthetic ropes up to 5 8 or 16 millimeters in diameter. Now when lowering loads, friction ratios will vary depending upon several factors. Always refer to Buckingham's instructions and warning sheet for more information. Always make sure that the rope that you're going to use is clean and free of any uh, debris or grit. It can prematurely wear out the friction bar. Okay, let's attach the ox to the pole. What we're going to use here is we're going to use a Buckingham adjustable sling. Only use authorized Buckingham components that are designed to be used with the ox block. For a complete list of these components, go to the Buckingham Ox Block website. Okay, let's open up the faceplate. We'll put the rope on the shiv, close the faceplate, make sure that it's a positive close, the button is fully extended. Okay, Buckingham recommends that the load line is always on the friction bar side, just like we have it right here. You know, a unique feature about the faceplate is that even when wearing bulky rubber gloves, you can still open and close it easily. Okay, let's secure the load. Do a couple half hitches here. All right. Okay, let's take a friction wrap. Now for one wrap, it's two clicks. For heavier loads, one more click makes two wraps. Right there. How easy that is. So, it doesn't matter if you go clockwise or counterclockwise. Two clicks, one wrap right there. Okay, so let's lower this load. I'm going to take the slack out between the load and the ox. One more time, we check all of our components. Everything's secure. Okay, let's pick our load. Okay, now this is very important what I do next. I'm going to lower my load hand over hand. It gives me a lot of control of the load and reduces heat on the friction bar, which reduces wear. How easy was that? Okay, now let's unwrap it. That's it. The ox block has a working load limit of 2,500 pounds, which enables it to be used as a strong snatch block. For example, you can use the ox to pull an underground cable. Its unique design allows pulling tape to travel smoothly over the shiv without getting caught. Okay, let's take a look at how to raise a load utilizing two ox block. Okay, right here we have a two-part configuration. Now, by adding some pulleys, we can turn this into a four-part easily. However, we're going to try these guys and then turn it into a set of sixes. Okay, we have one, 
to three four five and six close our face plates check all of our components looks good we're ready to raise the load it's that easy okay to snub a load this is easy all we need to do is take three wraps around the friction bar and one half hitch, which makes four clicks. There's my three wraps. Now I'm going to pull up my load and take the slack through the friction bar, depending on how much I want. OK, now I'm going to roll in a half hitch and push it through the gate. And there we go. OK, to remove that, push the half hitch up, and I can start to lower my load. But for heavier loads, again, four clicks, three wraps around the friction bar, and then take this end of the line and wrap it around to make two half hitches around your load line. Like that. Okay, to remove it, remove my half hitches. I can lower my load now, hand over hand, reduce heat, keep control. Okay, my load's off. Now, remove my wraps. And there you go. The aux can also be used as a rescue device. Because of its strength and integrated friction bar, you don't have to drop the block out during pull top rescue, saving valuable time, because the block itself provides the friction. Gone are the days of using a screwdriver method or having to take the rope and wrap it over the cross arm to try and provide friction. Everything you need is right there. It eliminates confusion. No matter what structure you're on, wood poles with or without cross arms, steel poles, or steel lattice, for safety and rescue alone, every crew should replace their handline blocks with the aux. According to the National Labor Council, ergonomic injuries cost U.S. companies over $120 billion annually. Now with this in mind, we invited ergonomic expert Dr. Lee Ostrom out to evaluate the aux block. What he found, compared to other blocks, is that the aux block reduced stress to back and joints by at least 50%. Now considering the versatility and the safety and ergonomic benefits of the aux, it's very reasonably priced. But please, don't compare it to just a handline block. The aux also replaces all of these on the table. That's going to cut the amount you spend on blocks in half and save space on the truck. It's a significant leap forward for the rigging professional. For more information or to find a distributor near you, go to the Buckingham Aux website. <laughs>